Welcome to another video on Comfy UI workflows. The EPA adapter is a wonderful tool and we can use it to greatly influence the styling of the generated images. Like we see over here, this golden ball clearly styled this robot dog and this fur purple fur ball clearly styled the coat of this lady. Let's have a look how this can be done. Here we have our default workflow again with an image generator at the first three blocks and then a switchable upscaler and face detailer. Um, the IPA adapter is a, a node that sits between the loader and the sampler. So what we can simply do is move these away a little bit and then insert, I already uh, prepared that insert the IPA adapter stack over here and then everything is okay. What is included in this uh, IPA adapter stack? An image loader, then the IPA adapter itself, yeah apparently, and it can be uh, very easily bypassed, just click Ctrl B, it sits between the model out of the loader and the model in, uh, so it is rather easy to bypass it. And then uh, there is a note to prepare the image for clip vision, that is advised to use that, and then there are two nodes that load some models. Uh, where to get all this? As usual, via the manager. Uh, open the manager, install custom nodes and do a search for IPA adapter and that should find it. It's in the meantime the IPA adapter plus. And uh, go to the website by simply clicking on it because there you find all instructions that you need and also uh, a bunch of nice uh, videos of the creator of the e adapter, Matteo. And uh, all the models that you need can be downloaded from here. So that's all rather easy. The installation is uh, straightforward. Let's do some experiments. The prompt is a robot dog and the style is a photo and we have loaded this gold ball as an input picture for the IP adapter but let's first start it with uh, the IP adapter fully bypassed and see uh, what robot we get. Okay there it is. Let's now uh, enable by clicking Ctrl B the IP adapter and uh, let's run it again to see if this changes our robot dog. Yes, it does to a great extent even. Well, well that, is, that is fun. Let's now change our gold ball into a purple fur ball and have a look again. All right, that is a robot dog in the color purple. Yeah, there's a little battle going on between the prompt and the IP adapter picture. Uh, normally a robot is not made of fur, so you will have to do a little bit more work to get a fur robot. The prompt wins it from the image. Well, we can help, of course, a little bit by changing the prompt with only one word. Let's add uh, fur to that prompt and let's see what happens if we do that. <laughs> Isn't that a very cute fur robot dog? Let's change our prompt to go to another picture of, let's say, a girl with a fur coat in a city. That is what was to be expected, but it is fun that we can do this. Uh, let's change the purple fur ball into, uh, into, for instance, this. <laughs> and let's see what uh, that renders us. Oh, that is a nice uh, coat, uh, forbidden in my country. Um, well, okay, so what we see is that you have a combination of the prompt and the picture that you load into the IP adapter and together they fight who is the boss. There are a couple of 
um, let's say, a couple of uh, parameters to play with. And, uh, well, I leave it up to you to uh, change all these uh, and see what the effects are. Let's just do a couple more tryouts. Let's go back to a robot. And this time uh, we change the photo style into art style or watercolor. And uh, I'm going to disable for now the EAP adapter and let's have a look what we get out. We should get a watercolor painting of a robot. Well, that seems to have worked. <laughs> I'm not sure if it is the uh, ugliest robot in the world, but it is a robot. Uh, we can try to change the mood and the scene, the styling of this picture by inserting in the IPA adapter a style picture like for instance this. Now we have a fun situation because the IPA adapter is loaded with a photograph or well it is a rendering uh, as we can see from the not uh, well, very well spelled texts but it looks like a photograph and in our prompt we ask for a watercolor so let's see what comes out. Yeah that looks good that is a nice robot in a city street with some people walking there. We can see that with these buildings that it takes uh, a lot of the EAP adapter input photo and it still adheres to the prompt. So this is a great way to style your images. Let's do another style, a completely other style uh, like this. Let's see if the robot now maybe turns a little bit into a cyborg, a, a woman like. Ah, that looks that looks really nice and indeed we get a woman uh, a face of a woman in our picture and this nice watercolor style in the colors that are in the original ipa fat image let me now change the prompt to something human like a cute indian girl and let's see what we get out with this same style. Yeah, that looks good. A watercolor image. That's what we asked for in our prompt. But with this style, the layout and the colors more or less of the IPA image. So that, that is good. Let's take away that watercolor. Uh, I'm just going to add a style nothing base which, which adds nothing to the prompt. So the prompt is only uh, the words cute Indian girl and with this same IPA adapter uh, that uh, cute Indian girl is going to be styled like shown in this image. Well, that seems to have worked well. It is, has not become a photograph. It clearly is a painting. And uh, well, there's a little uh, city and the, the colors are all exactly like the original image. So the great advantage of using this EAP adapter is that you can use a very small prompt, only uh, a couple of words and then uh, change the style. Let's do another style. Uh, this is uh, yeah another watercolor image and let's see what kind of girl we get out this is uh, more of a portrait image so i bet we get more of a portrait image now as the result a nice uh, outcome uh, indeed it became a portrait image the style and colors are uh, more or less similar let's do one more watercolor experiment let's let's quickly put the girl we just rendered as our ipa adapter input uh, let me change the uh, style to watercolor again and let me change the prompt to robot again and I'm also going to change the size of the picture and see what comes out. Uh, we, we have only one word and a watercolor style and we have also a watercolor IPA painting but we ask for a robot and we put in a girl. That is going to be an interesting uh, tryout. Well, I can only say this uh, looks like a neat and tidy watercolor picture of a girl in a robot style with all the colors 
of our IPA adapter input. Uh, I think it's just great. Let's go have a look at some more photo style. Uh, for that I'm going to change uh, the Dreamscaper which is more or less uh, not the best for photographic. Uh, the Juggernaut is better for photographic style. I'm going to change this to uh, photo style and I'm going to change the prompt uh, to a woman uh, with a skirt. Uh, let us have a, a picture here and the IPA adapter of a woman, a girl too. A black and white image and we ask for a photo. We did not specify if it is black and white, but let's just see what is going to come out. The face of this woman that is just rendered looks uh, well quite similar it could be her twin sister quite similar to the face that we put in so let's do one more experiment with photograph and now use a rendered image but uh, it looks like a photo of a completely different girl and look, let's have a look what comes out and now there she is and well it looks uh, really like the twin sister of the photo that we have here but still listening to our prompt which was only two words, a woman with skirt, yeah, and a style photo that adds a couple of words to the positive and the negative prompt, of course. Well, this was it for now, the IPA adapter. Uh, have a look at the videos that uh, Matteo, the creator of the IPA adapter, made. They, they are quite interesting and there is a lot more that can be done. This was just a short introduction how you can change the style of your renderings.